My name is Dimitar Sasolov. I'm a professor of astronomy at the uh, uh, astronomy department at Harvard University. I'm also a director of a new Harvard Origins of Life initiative. DOD is one of the most exciting conferences ever, and one of the things which happened this morning was the space breakfast. So it was uh, something which brings our dreams about going to space to reality. There were four of those people who are actually making it happen on the business side, and we discussed everything from, uh, you know, how do we make it happen, when does it happen, and uh, things like, well, what do you do if you get uh, space sick or something like that. It's very exciting. The breakfast was packed, uh, there was no more space, and the people who were on the panel were uh, Peter Diamandis of the XA uh, X Prize, uh, uh, George Whitesides, the CEO of Virgin Galactic, um, Eric Anderson, who is uh, 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 the head of the company that will take you to the moon, and of course Esther Dyson, who herself has uh, already uh, gone through the training for an astronaut. Well, today is a big day for me. It's the day when my new book is uh, being published, The Life of Super Earth. Uh, it's um, a book that I'm really excited about because it um, discusses two um, major game changers that are happening as we speak, uh, which are a synergy uh, from the biological life sciences and from the physical sciences, mostly astronomy. And that's uh, something which is changing our cosmic perspective on life. As an astronomer, I'm looking at life as the biology, biochemistry of life from the perspective of uh, the view from the stars, if you will. You have a planet, you have planets which have new types, super Earths, that's what they are. And they're bigger than the Earth, but otherwise have similar characteristics. And when you look at all that, you see a universe in which there are many places which are hospitable to life. And you ask your question, how do we uh, go and find out? And the answer is, well, we discover more of those super Earth planets, maybe real Earth analogs, and then we look for remote uh, signatures of life, like gases in their atmospheres. And this is no longer a dream, not a science fiction. It's something which we can do in the next five, ten years. And that book is about that and how it's going to change our perception of life on Earth and who we are in the end, because we are a representative of this biosphere. DOD as a conference is the ultimate interdisciplinary conference. It brings together scientists, it brings together business uh, people, people from government, people from uh, startups, people who are just interested in doing something new. And uh, when we talk about um, exploring space, understanding uh, new planets, uh, looking for a new uh, uh, features of what we understand about life, we are really talking about innovation. Innovation in its most general ways. And what we find about innovation, whether it's in uh, business or whether it's in science nowadays, it takes a team. It takes the expertise, the knowledge, the competence of people from different disciplines. Innovation nowadays happens on the boundaries of fields which have been separated from each other over the past. And so that is what is exciting about DOD as a conference, that you can make that human connection across the boundaries of disciplines.